So today I'm going to talk about the design tool for uh, Fujitsu marker. So let me open my CP layout here. As you can see that I have already uh, placed two Fujitsu markers uh, on my PCB layout and uh, and I also define the design rule. So let me show you how you can define the uh, design rules for Fujitsu marker. There are basically two important rules design rules i mean for the fujitsu markers the first one is that you have to keep the fujitsu marker away from the away from this uh, keep out layer so let me go to the keep out layer and this is my keep out layer which is the board contour area of the pcb and the reason to keep the fujitsu marker away from the keep out is that uh, during the during the milling process pcb manufacturer should not destroy this uh, uh, Fujitsu marker uh, point otherwise what will happen the placement the component placement machine cannot find the Fujitsu marker and it's uh, difficult for them to place the component to take as a reference point so that's why and the second uh, rule for the Fujitsu marker is to keep uh, it away from the component pads or from the for example from the tooling hole like that so for that what you have to do you have to go to the design and then open the classes and in classes as you can see that i have i, I already defined the classes for the physics physical but what you can do you can add here uh, in the component classes just right click here and then add class click on that so as soon as you add new class the new class will be available and you just name it physics uh, physical so I am not going to add this again uh, as I already added this. So just for the information I have shown you that how you can define the uh, component class and then in this class then you can you can as, as soon as you define the class uh, on the non-member side here you can see the component which are available on your PCB will be shown and that you can transfer to the right side in the member class of this uh, physical so that's how you can define the component class for physical then let me define the rules to define the rule what you have to do you have to go to the design you have to select the rules and in the rule section you have to go to the in electrical and this clearance and then again you can right click here and add a new rule so i have already added here the uh, rule two rules for the Fujitsu marker as you can see that Fujitsu marker all and Fujitsu marker keep out so let me explain the first rule here what you have to do you have to um, def uh, call the Fujitsu uh, class here I mean in the in the first first you have to select the custom query here where the first object matches section and in the custom query then you have to write just in component class so as soon as you write in component class then it will show you all the components and then in that uh, from there you have to choose the physical and where the second object matches so here we are going to define for the uh, all the components and then here you have to define the what is the clearance from track SMD pad tooling hole pad via copper <clears throat> and so on so here you can define uh, normally for me it's uh, just for the example i put here 0.5 but uh, 0 0.05 is more than enough which uh, which normally is used in the design that is the first rule for the Fujitsu marker with all the components and same you can define the second rule first again you have to add the here go to the clearance add new rule and in the new rule make this rule for the keep out so for the keep out what you have to do again you have to write here where the first in the in where the first object matches uh, you have to define the uh, component class uh, and which is here in component class which is shell and where the second object matches and that is here you have to choose here the layer and then in the layer you have choose the keep out layer but uh, one thing you make sure that you have already defined this keep out layer otherwise if you don't define the keep out layer it won't be available here so here again point three is enough for me so i'm not going to change this 
if you want you can also keep it uh, 2.5 as per your uh, requirement but 0.3 for me is enough apply say okay let me just uh, self the this polygon so that's how the design looks like and as i said that my keep out layer is here which i have shown you already so here as you can see that if i'm going in the single mode this is my keep out layer and this is basically the um, same as the uh, board control layer or the outer layer of the pcb so this uh, layer normally keep out layer is useful for uh, for defining the rules for like uh, tooling hole tooling hole and fujitsu marker for such kind of uh, uh, non-electrical component so that's why normally uh, you have to define this keep out layer so let me tell you how you can add the keep out layer you can go to the view configuration and in the view configuration here in other layer you will get this uh, keep out layer so let me uh, do the uh, design tool check and then for example i'm putting this uh, less than first let me self this polygon so i'm putting this fidgety marker less than 0.3 millimeter so it's around less than 0.3 millimeter as you can see the distance uh, then i'm expecting here uh, a design uh, rule uh, failure for the uh, for the fidgety marker between the keep out and the fidgety marker so what you have to do you have to go to the tools design rule check and run the design rule check it will ask you re for to report the polygon which we sell then report the polygon and so as you can see that it has given me one design rule violation and so let me check which is not the which is not the distance between as you can see that here the design rule violation is for modify polygon and not for not for the distance between the uh, fidgety marker and the keep out so the maybe the reason behind this is that you have to set the priority in the rules and that's why it's not taking maybe this this is having a lower uh, priority then the we define the two rules for the fidgety marker the first one was between the fidgety marker and all the components maybe that is having a higher priority compared to the rule uh, which we define between the uh, fidgety marker and the keep out so let me again go to the design rules and in the rules uh, what you have to do you have to go to here priorities click priorities and you can see that you can see that here let me expand this yeah so you can see that here the clearance fidgety marker with with all the component is having a higher rule higher priority sorry then the fidgety marker keep out so what you have to do you have to click on this and you have to increase its priority so as soon as you increase its priority which means that when the design rule is applied then first it will check this uh, design rule which means that the clearance uh, between the fidgety marker and keep out and then it will go for the rest of the rule uh, for the for the fidgety marker so close this then apply and say okay so this time i'm expecting here the uh, rule violation between the keep out and the uh, fidgety marker so again you have to run the design rule for that you have to go to the tools design rule check and then run design rule report the polygon and as soon as you report the polygon so here you can see that two rule violation and the second is that here you can see that clearance constraint in component class fidget cell and on layer keep out which means that it's saying that the clearance cons constraint between the fidget marker and the keep out layer should be more than 0.3 millimeter which we define so when you will click here so it will bring you to that 
design rule failure. So here it's also showing that the, the distance between this is our keep out and this is the fujitsu marker, which is less than 0.3 millimeter. So what you have to do, you have to correct this design rule and violation, which means that you have to put the fujitsu marker, increase the distance more than 0.3 millimeter. So, and as soon as you run the design rule, I am expecting that. So here you can see that as soon as I run the design rule, there is no rule violation for the for the Fujitsu marker here. So that is the first one. So let me put the Fujitsu marker near to this component. For example, pad of this component to make sure that 0 0.05 what we have 0 0.05 what we have written should be should also works. Uh, the second design rule or not to just to check that so again let me apply the design rule so as soon as i apply the design rule okay again i'm getting the rule violation here it's saying that the clearance uh, the rule violation is between in component class physical and all and it's expecting that the distance should be point point zero five millimeter but it's 0 0.015 so as soon as you click on this it will bring you on the pcb and show you where the design rule is not correct so just uh, that's how you can apply the design rule for the fidgets marker so let me place it at uh, at the corner so it's away from that component and then again when i i will run the design rule check then there won't be any kind of uh, design rule failure so it's just a warning which we are getting for the polygon which we sell so that's not a problem so let me also bring that restore the polygon and then report all and then when i will r run the design rule this time then i'm expecting that there should not be any rule violation regarding the Fujitsu marker. So here you can see that. Yeah, so that's how you can define the rule for the Fujitsu marker. If you like my videos, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.